Chicago Bears Now is presented by Manscaped. If you want the best men's grooming products out there, head over to manscaped.com and use promo code BEARS20. That is promo code BEARS20 at manscaped.com. 20% off plus free shipping. Don't mind me, just going to pour one out this morning because our boy Roquan Smith has requested a trade. And uh, I don't know about you, when negative news hits, you know, a little shot can ease the tension a little bit. So cheers, Roquan. Ah, it's early. It's early. Roquan has officially requested a trade. Let's get to his statement. Then we're going to react a little bit here. Here's Roquan. Walking these hallways the past four years, you can feel the spirit. You feel the pressure to live up to that timeless history, that great legacy. I dreamed of playing like Wilbur Marshall, Singletary, Briggs, Erlacher, Butkus. Since the day I was drafted, I vowed to play this position at a level that upheld the standard that was set before me to uphold that respect and honor, and I have. Unfortunately, the new front office regime doesn't value me here. They, re they have refused to negotiate in good faith. Every step of this journey has been take it or leave it. The deal sent to me is one that would be bad for myself and for the entire linebacker market if I signed it. I've been trying to get something done that's fair since April, but they're focus has been trying to take advantage of me. I wanted to be a bear for my entire career, help this team bring a Super Bowl back to our city. However, they have left me no choice than to request a trade that allows me to play for an organization that truly values what I bring to the table. I haven't had the chance to talk to the McCaskey family and maybe they can salvage this, but as of right now, I don't see a path back to the organization I truly love. I hope and pray you all can understand. I'm deeply sorry it's come to this. Clearly, that's an emotional statement from Ro Roquan Smith, the best player currently on the Chicago Bears. We've heard rumblings over the last, you know, maybe month or so that the Bears were maybe offering him something in the $17 million range that had been proposed out there. That's below market value, to be quite honest. And I think that's where this is coming from. I think Roquan and his agent are saying, look, we can't take this. We just cannot sign this deal. And Poles in the front office are playing hardball. They're lowballing him. At least that's how Roquan feels about it. And quite frankly, if what he's saying is true, I can't really disagree with that notion. More thoughts to come. But I'll tell you what. This is why you subscribe to the channel. We're live here on YouTube early on a Tuesday morning. When big news happens, we either go live or at least bring a video to you here here on this channel, whether I'm at home or in the studios. We got you covered here on Chicago Bears now, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Ian Rappaport offered more insight with his reporting. He, he says, among the frustrations detailed, Roquan Smith has lost trust by what he believes are the attempts to take advantage of him. He feels this entire process hasn't been a negotiation, just the Bears trying to strong arm him with a take it or leave it deal. More frustrations. The back loaded offer, which wouldn't make him the highest paid in actual salary, included proposed de-escalators that not a single player out of the 94 non-quarterback 15 plus million dollar contracts has in the NFL he was offended that deal would hurt the linebacker market as a whole so let me just react to all this to Roquan's statement to Rappaport's insights <sighs> this is kind of disrespectful I'm not gonna lie I get when a new regime takes over, they can do whatever the hell they want. And quite frankly, I think a lot of the poll or moves Ryan Poles have made have been good ones. I don't mind him trading Khalil Mack. It's an aging pass rusher. You got a second and a six. It's not great, but you got decent value there. I don't mind him cutting some of the older guys, injury-prone guys, and moving on uh, to play for the future. Roquan Smith is in his early mid-20s. He is by far your best football player, and he plays a position that, yeah, if you have average off-ball linebackers, even above average, you don't pay them top dollar, but when you have a special one, one that can cover, one that can come on blitzes, stop the run, uh, play pass defense, call the defense like a Roquan Smith can, you pay that man. You paid that man. This is a mistake, in my opinion, by the Chicago Bears. Roquan has every right to be frustrated. I am not surprised uh, that, based on his claims, he has requested a trade. And quite frankly, I think you guys should be frustrated, and I know a lot of you guys are at this point in time. So what is your one-word reaction to the Roquan Smith trade request? Let me know down in the comment section below. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. One-word reaction to Roquan Smith requesting a trade from the Chicago Bears. You look at the off-ball linebacker market, right? Darius, Shaquille Leonard, uh, whatever he's going by now, he's just under $20 million per year. Fred Warner, $19 million. Uh, C.J. Mosley, Zach Cunningham, Deion Jones, Roquan, clearly better than all of them. I said 
at minimum, Roquan has to become the third highest paid linebacker. He just does. He's up there. He's closer to Leonard and Warner than he is Mosley and Cunningham. Like that. That's that's a joke. If um, if Poles is offering him the C.J. Mosley deal, because Roquan is clearly a better player. You look at his past four years. The guy has gotten better each and every year. Maybe a slight downtick in his second season, but his last two years, he does everything. He's a tackling machine. He sniffs out the run. He gives you three or four sacks a year. He's had an interception in each of his NFL seasons. I think this Bears defense has the potential to be really – actually pretty damn good this year, but you take Roquan out of the mix, that's a problem. That is a damn problem if you are Chicago. Like, this linebacker core without him – we've talked about it with him being pretty thin. Without him, you are <laughs> – what? You're going to go with Nick Morrow and, uh, and Matt Adams as your two linebacker sets? I don't think so. I mean, that is just not going to cut it. We'll take a look at what that depth chart could look like if Roquan gets dealt. It's a tough day. I hope this can be salvaged uh, moving forward because, again, this is the best football player you have. That is not an exaggeration when it comes to Roquan Smith. Appreciate Manscaped for sponsoring today's uh, show. Tough news, but uh, Manscaped always brings you good news because when you shave downstairs, it's going to end up being a good night if you know what I'm saying. Get the lawnmower 4.0 from Manscaped, manscaped.com. Promo code BEARS20 is going to get you 20% off plus free shipping. Some benefits of this item, advanced skin care technology. It's going to limit cuts, burns, all that stuff. Uh, wireless charging station. You can use it in the shower because it deflects water. It is an awesome product. I've had mine for well over a year. No problems at all. Plus, the battery life is fantastic. Uh, and the Boxers 2.0, which they just uh, launched. They've kind of upped their boxer game. Very comfortable. It's hot as hell down here in Texas. So you want nice and comfortable boxers to let... Let your buddies breathe down there, if you know what I'm saying. Manscaped.com, promo code BEARS20. Link in the comments, in the description. Go ahead and uh, check out Manscaped today. You look at the depth chart. Imagine Roquan Smith not here, okay? If In three linebacker sets, you're probably going Nick Morrow, Matthew Adams, and Joe Thomas. <laughs> do, do any of us think that's even close to good enough? I get linebacker in certain cases isn't as valuable of a position. But again, when you have an alpha male like Roquan Smith, like Fred Warner, like in prime Bobby Wagner, these are guys you keep around because they change the complexion of a defense. Devin White, these guys are special, special players. And I just don't think you lowball one of those guys. And if they don't take it, you just move on from them. I don't think that is a proper approach from Ryan Poles in this front office. Uh, and by the way, what is Matt Eberflus thinking? Matt Eberflus, is, this could be the first moment of friction between the head coach and GM where he's like, hey, man, I get you're in charge of player personnel, but you're, you're taking my biggest weapon away from me on the defensive side of the ball if you do this. So I don't know, man. I just, I, I, again, I will say this one more time. When a new regime comes in, everything is on the table. Anything can happen. You can move away from the quarterback. You can move away from any player. But this is a young cornerstone player that has proven himself for multiple seasons. You don't move away from that. You trade Ro Roquan, you might as well tell the entire league, yeah, we, we're, we really are rebuilding. We're not giving a damn about this year. I mean, that, that's kind of the message I would take. Now, sure, could you get a haul for him? I mean, I, I wouldn't trade him for less than a first-round pick. Later today, we're probably going to do a Roquan Smith trade ideas video, so stay tuned, subscribe for that. But – I don't want it to come to that. I want Roquan Smith to be a Chicago Bear because I think he can be an impactful player for this franchise for a very, very long time. What's your confidence level in the Bears' ability to salvage this situation at this point? Scale it from 1 to 10. 10 being you're very confident. You're not worried. It's going to be all good. Uh, 1 being he's as good as gone. I got to be at like a three right now. I won't go as low as one, but I do think it's it's closer to one than ten. I mean, it, it seems when a player requests a trade, all, I'd say eighty plus percent of the time that player gets traded. So uh, we will see what happens here. But uh, my confidence level is not that high here. But be sure to subscribe because, like I said, we'll have another video this afternoon. Probably Roquan Smith trade ideas. If there's huge news from training camp, maybe we will cover that as well. We do it all here at Chicago Bears now, so don't miss out. Subscribe and turn on those notifications.